Hey guys, my name is Rishav Raj and I'm a second year student at Bits Pilani. Okay, so today's video is gonna be very helpful because today I'll be telling you about everything about scholarships because a lot of people have some financial problems and they think that Bits Pilani being very very expensive they cannot afford it and I have also made a video named is Bits Pilani only for rich people in which I give details about scholarship not complete details but enough detail to help you but this video will be of the complete detail and I will tell you everything about the cutoffs and mainly I will tell you about merit scholarships and merit come need scholarship before I start the video I will request you that you please subscribe to this channel because a lot of videos will be coming in the future which will be uh, some podcast with some great seniors or there will be videos related to dual degree, vertical transfers and how you can change branch. Is it feasible? Should you rely on it? Uh, what should be the counseling process? What is the admission process? What should be the branch preference order? What are the placement statistics? And everything related to college, to Bits Pilani and it will help you a lot. So yeah, that's the reason I'm saying you to subscribe to the channel and at last it's your own wish. Also guys, because BitSight is over, you would be knowing your scores. So I'll also release one more video in which I will be telling you if you have low marks, then what can you do? What should you do in the future? Okay, so let's move on. Uh, so first of all, I'll tell you about merit scholarship. Okay, so in this merit scholarship, what happens is that students who perform exceptionally well, they are given this merit scholarship, which is either 100% or 40% and only 3% students get this 3% students from the entire batch which is around 1100 for us for the 2020 batch and it may increase slightly more because of the addition of ECE in this year so only 3% students are given this merit scholarship so let's talk about it the thing is the first being 100% is given to the top 1% Okay, so that's the criteria and that's the reason there is not there is not like fixed cutoff. You cannot say that I'll bring this much and I'll get the merit scholarship. It changes every year but for an idea I would say that in 2019 the data was 10 CGPA. 100% scholarship was student 100% uh, scholarship was given to only those who brought 10 CGPA and also I will also like to tell you that 40% was given to the students who brought 9.6 CGPA while in 2020 this data is for semester 1 this year this online college scenario in which 100% was given at 9.8 CGPA and 40% was given at 9.4 CGPA so it saw, it saw a decline of 0.2 CGPA which is not a lot so uh, maybe you can think that at around 9.5 I won't say 9.5 at around 9.6 9.7 type CGPA which is really hard to bring okay I'll also tell you about the grading scenario in bits so yeah that's the thing it's really hard to get such a CGPA that requires a lot of effort uh, you'll be able to decrease the fees by 100% or by 40% and that will be really really helpful for you but now I would like to tell you for students like me whose financial condition is not very good okay uh, so bits has a feature i would say it it gives a facility in which if your parents income that is your mother and father combined income is less than 11 lakh okay so this boundary of 11 lakh keeps on changing every year uh, it depends on you know the scenario what's going on like around five to six years before today it was six to seven lakh per annum but now it's 11 lakh per annum and it may increase in the future okay so if your parents income is less than that then they give you a merit come need scholarship which is relatively i would say a lot easier than merit scholarship because what happens in merit, merit come need scholarship is that you need to bring a decent CGPA and you would be getting three types of scholarships that is 80%, 40% and 25%. So the thing is, if we talk about its cutoffs, so 
you can think like if you bring a CGPA of around 8.5 or above, you are very, very close to getting an 80%. Okay. So if we talk about the data in 2019 at 8.8 .8 CGPA, you got 80% while in 2020 at around 8.5 plus you got 85, 80%. Okay. And yeah, one more thing is that these are the estimates which have been made by the students by surveying everyone and PITS does not release this data even for us. Okay. So that's why I'm saying around. That's why I'm saying uh, like 8.6 around. If you bring uh, in 2019, if you have brought 8.8 .8 plus, then you get 80%. You know, 80% what I mean by 80% also, I need to uh, explain you that. What happens is that if you have a tuition fee of 2 lakh. Okay, also this is very important that merit scholarship and merit community scholarship applies only to tuition fee, not to the student union fund or to the hostel fees, which is hostel fees if you consider is around 50,000 rupees per semester, including the mess fee. So it does not apply to that. It only applies to your tuition fee. So that's the thing. If you think that for this semester, if you think, uh, the tuition fee is around 2 lakh rupees and if you get a 80% scholarship what happens next semester the fees is around 2 lakh rupees but now you have to pay only 40,000 because 1 lakh 60,000 will be deducted from your next semester's fees okay but to be technically correct I would like to tell you that it requires a bit of time estimating who which people how many people have got this scholarship and what's the CGPA cutoff and all these things uh, the administration also takes a bit of time that's why what happens is that if you get a scholarship in first semester then it takes time and it takes time around two three months to understand who have got the scholarship and how much scholarship so that's why what happens is that that scholarship amount is deducted from second year's first semester like I got a scholarship in first year first semester then it will be deducted from my fees of second year first semester but you don't have to take a lot of tension to uh, about it because it will be deducted and if some amount is left even after your four years in college it will be credited it will be credited to your bank account uh, so that's the thing you don't need to take a lot of tension but if I tell you a safe CGPA I will tell that around 8.8 .8, you get a 80% scholarship around 7.9 or 8 you get a 40% scholarship which decreased like it's decreased like 7.3 7.4 in this 2020 batch but it's very very variable and it keeps changing every year that's why we cannot say completely but for a rough estimate i must tell you that around 8.8 .8, you may get 80 percent scholarship around 7.5 you may get a 40 percent scholarship and below that above 6 or 6.5 you get a 25 percent scholarship like i have got 25 percent scholarship so you can understand what my cgpa will be so that's the thing that will slightly reduce and that will completely reduce your financial problems if you get 80% or 40% scholarship and that's what everybody aims for. So yeah guys that's the thing you don't need to leave bits even if you have a good score just because uh, just because your uh, parents income is less or things like that also you sh you can take a education loan if you want uh, the video about education loan also i'll make it very soon so that like before counseling I, I must tell you before counseling date i will make all the videos which will be important for the admission process and also will help you to understand if you want to take admission or not okay so that's the thing i think this is a very complete video you'll understand a lot about scholarships and all also guys I forgot to tell you one thing that you must get a CGP of greater than 6 for merit come need scholarship if you bring a CGP of less than 6 you are not getting any type of scholarship also there are many types of more scholarships like uh, uh, BITSA scholarship and KVPY related scholarships and all which I don't have a lot of information about but if you want information about those scholarships also please comment it I will I will take out the information from the seniors and make a video on that also. That was the purpose of this video. Thank you. And if you like the video, please like, you know, give it a like. And yeah, subscribe to the channel. That's it, guys. Thank you for watching. We can build a tree house in the park.